Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Hi, this is Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a fun little project. Uh, I'm going to turn this uh, sign that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree. just happens to be the initials of someone very special to me. So I'm going to turn it into something that is not Halloween, but something that can be uh, in their room all year long. So we've got some fun little, uh, I've got a clock here with some dogs, because doggos are very favorite, or a favorite kind of thing there. I am going to paint the edges in some black chalk paint. I've got this. I probably will paint it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this yet. And then I have some ribbon just to make a fussy bow here up at the top. All right. Let's get started. So I'm going to remove this sign. I am going to, again, paint my edges in this chalk paint. But before I do that, I think what I want to do before I do that is let's go ahead and trace. I'm going to put our sign upside down on the fabric. See where we can get as many dog faces as possible. All right. I might go over to the side that was not like it. I have another shot. So, we'll get a good face there, and there, there, there. All right, I think we'll go with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint and then cut while I'm waiting on it to paint. Let the paint to dry. The only reason I went back and went ahead and did that.
we go. And we'll let it dry. While it's drying, we can go ahead and cut out our fabric. Here we have it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. I want to paint this side too, but I'm just going to do a wash. That's something to give a little bit of color to the background. a little bit of wash over it. We'll let this dry completely and then we'll start working on putting that fabric on. I think I should go ahead, I'm going to paint this. Let's go ahead and get this painted so it can be drying. This side first. Let it dry and then flip it over. This side will be glued down, but give it a good, good coat. That way it looks good from all sides.
right, we're making progress. There is our ink. So I did go ahead and put a little Mod Podge on the back. Got the fabric attached to the front. I did start working on the little, uh, what represents the two. So I just did it in black chalk paint and then added this blue and I just used some painter's tape to get my, my stripes. The two was already on there, but I'm using this uh, glitterific paint by Folk Art. And that's what's putting like this little glitter on the shirt. And I'm gonna do one more coat just to make sure I get all of it, um, all of it covered. It's just, just like you would paint anything else. It's a little thick, but that's okay. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. And we're just gonna, this will basically just add another layer of glitter to our project. We'll let that dry completely before we glue it to the base. But in the meantime, we will uh, work on our little messy bow. So we're going to use these ribbons. And uh, you've seen me do this in the past, but just to explain it again, I basically just take a ribbon, cut strips, uh, wire tie them together, or uh, chenille stem, and then they just sort of fluff out like a loose kind of pom-pom is a good way to um, compare it. So I've got a smaller area. I'm going to put it up here because my little t-shirt will be down here. So I want it about that. So let's go five inches. And let's try that. And I can just use my my grid here on my mat. Give me some room. So I got all my ribbons cut and I thought, oh, I think it needs just a little some something else. So I have this little raffia uh, loop here at the top so I decided to play off of that and it has some of those colors on the fabric so I just went and found my little sanding block and I'm, I'm just using this so I don't have to measure each piece out until we get like five then I'm just going to snip it off here at the top and then right along the edge, the middle of this, and boom, I've got four little bundles here pretty quick. All right, so we'll lay our chenille stem down. And we'll start layering.
should have built it upside down. Go ahead and pull this just so that it's sort of centered. I want it to be even, that way we can attach it to the base. Alright, then we'll just start separating everything out so you can see the different little pieces. glue gun out but what I did decide is I'm going to go ahead and cover this center with just a piece of that dark ribbon just for contrast We've got our tube glued on there. We've got our bow. We need to tie it to the back. But when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, I think it needs a little something else. So I went out and I dug in my stash and I found a Sharpie paint pen. So I'm just doing a little outline. I've never used this before. It's brand new. I've had it for a while, but just haven't been brave enough to try it. But here we are, and I think the key to using these is just on fabric, it's just short little strokes. And all I'm trying to do is add the tiniest of little outlines there.
Well, we've got our eek sign made. I had a little bit more of this fabric. I was like, well, why don't I make her a little pillow to match? She loves little pillows. So I'll figure out exactly how much I have. And we will whip up us a little pillow. How fun is that? So is it bigger to go this way or that way? I think we will go this way. Look at that. How cute is that? All right, let me go get the stuffing and we'll be able to finish this up. Not and there we go. Let's hide our thread. So I'm just gonna poke it in there as far as I can get it. That way it'll have a good long tail. I'm gonna hold this corner because I'm gonna pull it pretty tight, but I don't want to lose my point up here. Look at that! How cute is that? She's gonna love it. All right, that goes with our ink sign. So I decided I wanted to add three little t-shirts to this uh, gift set. So I went over to my Cricut Design Space and uh, came up with three different designs.
right, so my husband didn't feel like this silver glitter would show up really well on this uh, color t-shirt. So I went ahead and I just created another one. Uh, she loves puppies, so that's what we went with. And uh, I looked up the temperature that it should be on, as well as how long you should do it for. And uh, basically it told me uh, 330 degrees for 30 seconds. I've got me a piece of uh, just a sheet of uh, parchment paper that I will use to protect my shirt. And then we'll go ahead and get this started. that I do have a piece of corrugated cardboard underneath my mat and my machine I've noticed uh, the last few times that I've used this that uh, it does tend to buckle up um, if I don't put something under it so while we're waiting to cool for that to cool down I am going to go ahead and just give this t-shirt a press. I could use my mini, but I've already got this heated up. I'm not looking for perfect, just looking for it to look nice, nice presentation. to the next one. So here's this. We're going to just use the little mini to iron because these are way smaller t-shirts. Just start removing. How fun is that? And then we'll, we'll iron this once we get everything uh, to that same point. All right, seems like, oh yeah, that's fine. There's 
there's that one. How cute is that? shirts. Our three little t-shirts. I think she's gonna like them. I think they turned out pretty cute. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like it, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, would you please consider subscribing? And well, until next time, happy crafting!